This is APS's video for students on how to use Flipgrid. Flipgrid is a tool your teachers may use to have you record videos of yourself and your thinking to complete class assignments. Most of the time, your teachers are going to assign the Flipgrid through Google Classroom. They might do it in two different ways. They might have you join their Flipgrid class. When you do that, choose Login with Google and then choose your APS account. Once you do that, it will take you here to their Flipgrid classroom. Uh, it's gonna have all of the topics or all of the assignments your teacher has at the top here. And then the most recent assignment here with the red record a response button. The other way your teacher might assign it is as an assignment with a link that takes you directly to the Flipgrid assignment. Again, log in with Google. Once you are on the assignment, you're going to click the red recorder response button to start your response. It will tell you in the directions here uh, that you have a certain amount of time. Your teachers can give you up to 10 minutes to complete your recording. In case you didn't read the directions on Classroom or on the Flipgrid assignment, you can open the directions right here and view them again. You can close them at any point. You can add a sticky note to uh, explain your thinking. You can use the effects tools either during your recording or before your recording. The whiteboard tool is cool because you have lots of different choices of background. You can change how much of the screen is whiteboard and how much is your face. And then you can use the pen tool on top of it. You can change the color and the thickness. You can also close your sticky notes. Then you can use it to draw or write during, before, or after your video. I like to draw before so that I know what I'm doing and I have time to focus as I'm recording my video. Other effects you can do are adding filters, adding frames, adding emojis, adding text, and adding a photo that's been saved to your Google Drive. Make sure that you are using these responsibly and you're not using too many of them. When you're ready to start, you click the red record button in the middle. Hi, I'm recording a video about how to find ordered pairs on a coordinate plane. I'm gonna go through all my thinking so my teacher knows what I'm thinking about as I go through. I can continue to use the mouse and go back to the button here to continue to draw if I need to. When I'm done, I'm going to hit the stop button. Or if you're ready, you can click next. It's going to give you the ability to edit. You can trim it if you need to stop it a little bit earlier. Um, or you can, when you're ready, hit next. Your teacher may have you take a selfie as you go. You might want to spend more time on that than I did. When you're ready, click next. See, I've got my coordinate plane on my face still. Uh, you can choose your display name, choose your title, pick something so that your teacher knows what you're um, submitting, and then click the submit button. Now that your video is complete, there's a couple of th things that you can do. Uh, your video now has a link to a website that is its own and a QR code. You could either share the website or the QR code with your teacher. Uh, they may want you to turn in your video on Classroom using one of these tools. You can also download your video and download your selfie to save it for later. Once you're done there, click Complete, and it will take you back to the Flipgrid homepage. If there are any other um, assignments on this page, you'll see them here. If your teacher allows you, you can even go down to the bottom and view responses from other students. This is the end of the training video for students on how to use Flipgrid. Thank you.